hello there. Well, hello there, and welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider Chronicles. This is Jamie Clough Gaming, and this is part 17. Um, and this is the final area of the island section, the old mill. And I am heading towards the very end of the level now. So, so this part is probably going to be involving uh, the next level. Oh dear. Oh my god. I may have made a colossal error here, but we'll find out. Yeah, for me, I know the game's up. I miss one of the secrets. Oh, you know, I forget to get the two secrets in this area. That's two secrets out of three. And, uh, I'm very strange because the first secret i missed in the entire game was the one in this level. So, it was bound to be this way. Um, uh, never mind. Laura is stuck. There's still a current, even though I turned the water off. Well, there is. There's still a water wheel going. So we need to turn the water wheel off. And then... We'll free the horseman. And perhaps he'll let our friend Father Patrick go in exchange for being free. We'll see. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> no, that's the secret area. That's not the way to go. Hmm. <laughs> well, see what I mean. This level is quite well. Obviously, at this point, <laughs> like I've just had not very long to finish it, so to throw it together in a very random and very sort of needlessly. <laughs> Needlessly, uh, I burped. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. What? What is that supposed to be? Supposed to be a demonic. Hmm. Not that I've been island, I don't think it sounds like this though. <laughs> oh my god, it's been by far the most irritating level set in the game. Oh. Except the labyrinth, it's got a bit more atmosphere about it. And it has a different soundtrack, and I'm a fan of the soundtrack in that, at least. <clears throat> but as a level, it's still a questionable one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we'll put a few moments away then. Just have to jump up there. Do something. Um, <laughs> see, there's a save here uh, because if I, don't, if I drop down, I don't want to have to do all that again, especially as this is a let's play. Right, I've dropped down and load the save now. <clears throat> oh dear. Well, let's just say, um, in the last area, there's a lot more editing than there is in the entire, that has been in the entire last place so far. So we'll see how that affects things. Um. <laughs> Some of it's done for entertainment purposes. 
well, a lot of it's because I get stuck. It's a tough level, the next level, a real tough one. But at least with Old Mill, it's not the hardest level in the world. But it's one of the most irritating. So, <laughs> I'll be glad when this is over. It is over. <laughs> but, uh, I'll be glad. Um, to start the next area and um, oh god perhaps I should have edited this video before I did the commentary uh, but I didn't so here we are I don't think it's very long anyway uh, indeed it's less than half an hour long so that's not so bad right that's the last thing I've got to do in the old mill then and silence please there's a cutscene I taste freedom for the first time in an aeon! You will not now fear me, for you have served your purpose well, holy man. And for this, should I exercise mercy as a god might? Now, that'd be nice, but I'm not holding me breath. Yes, I shall spare you, and secure for you a fate worse than death. For Beyond this world, heaven shall no longer welcome you, for you have released a demon. My faith will protect me from feckless lesser demons as yourself. Father! Ah, big child. I shall snuff out her life as a candle. The book from the library. done well, girl. And before you ask, I'll tell you. The book you've got, I myself was looking for it, but as I couldn't find it, assumed you had it. <laughs> and lucky you did. But how? If you name a demon, you have power over him. And you named him. <laughs> it's your shout, Lara. For this you shall burn for eternity! I shall drown you in a mire of your own entrails before I squeeze! Be quiet! What do you reckon we get out of this godforsaken place and go and get a nice cup of tea with Winston? Almost forgot. Would you be wanting to wave goodbye to our little friend? <laughs> Back to where you belong. And you'll have learnt a few valuable lessons from that, I'd be thinking. You'd be thinking right, Father. Her curiosity was eventually her failure. The path she chose was the path she loved. And for this, we should celebrate, not grieve. Although I fear for Von Croy, pursuing his inner demons, driven half to madness in his quest for her final resting place, he will not find peace in himself until this is complete. 
the infamous trophy room. And you will be doing the acrobatics to enter, Winston, yes? Miss Croft did enjoy her little games. And here it is, gentlemen. The artifact which led to the animosity between Miss Croft and Von Croy, ending ultimately in this terrible business. Okay, Miss Croft, I'm presuming by the lack of communication that you're in position. Facing the Von Croy Industries building, right? Containing our little prize, the Iris? Affirmative. Right. Now this is what you're good at, yeah? Time to switch rooms. Switch rooms? Easy to say from the ground floor, wouldn't you agree? Come on now! Stiff up the lamp! Top hole and all that! Time to get hip with Sam! Gone. All right. I'm in. Okay, now let's see what you can do. Follow the vent to the main corridor. You come in at the 13th floor. Unlucky for some. Unlucky for them. Any welcome party? That's your job, girl. I ain't no X-ray vision superhero. I'd noticed the last bit. Ooh, you are so sharp you're gonna cut yourself. Just remember, the less attention, the better. You dig? Thanks, but that thought had crossed my mind. Just making sure you're on the ball, lady. Enough talk. Contact me if you see anything. Whew. That girl has got one bad attitude. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. Oh my god. And that was Zip. This is the first game. Arguably the last game with this kind of Zip in it, but uh, because when he gets reintroduced, it legend, it sounds completely different. I would say I think I prefer this Zip. It's funnier. But of course, there's no Alistair yet either. And so this is a new level set. Whoa! You get a spider job in there, and it's poop. Find me some way to turn this off. Don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm on the case. What I have to work with. Don't knock it, lady. I'm your eyes and ears. More of those and less of the lips would be preferable. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Do I actually make any progress in this part? I don't think I do really. Not much anyway. <laughs> oh this is funny this. Oh my god. So what you're supposed to do is find a hammer. But you can do the hard way. And that puts one of these guys here. These ties can kill you in only two seconds flat off. And he does. R.I.P. Lara Croft. Oh my god. Oh my god. My god. I should have checked this video before I started commenting on it. Never mind. The damage is done. I've started commenting. I can't stop. I can't. I won't. And I don't stop. I can't. I won't. And I don't stop. <laughs> to call the Beastie Boys. Oh, oh dear. What? The state of my computer. Some people, we in 
Asterix. I can actually see the state of my computer. Do you go? The way I did it there is not the way you're supposed to do it. And this level is called the 13th floor. This level set is Von Croy's tower block. It is in New York. And there are three levels in a set, and these are the last three levels of the game. We've got 26 of 27 possible secrets at this point, missing the first secret in the old mill, unfortunately. So, all the secrets do is give you more special features. You can cheat to have those, but my control is a bit knackered, so I don't think I can actually cheat to have the ones I missed. Which is unfortunate. You getting this? Whoa, baby, I'm getting too much of that. Looks like the Hulk on steroids. You want to tell me what it's doing here? Couldn't be sure. I hear that BCI is working on some new suit for the military. <laughs> oh. And that sure is mom's apple pie ain't no civilian protection. Can't argue with that. And the guns? Well, my picture ain't all that clear, but it looks like low-frequency laser weapons, limited range. If you get in the way of one, then they'll have to take you out in a plastic sack. I get the picture. Oh, but do you really get the picture is the question. You might notice he walked past one of the secrets. We are headed in there, but by the time we get there, he's not there anymore, so it's okay. <laughs> but already I've demonstrated what happens when you come across one of those guys. They shoot you twice, and you're dead. Pretty much. We see, we see the return of these lasers. I say return, because they're in Tomb Raider 3. But of course I haven't LP'd that game yet. But these are very much the same kind as you find in the Nevada level set. High security compound and area 51 in particular. Um, but uh, this adventure here, according to the original documents, was set in 1995, which would make since so just a year before the original game came out and this game came out in 2000 of course and there's a mini pack in the 2000s when I first played all five of the classics but Chronicles was the only one I got well as it came out, so to speak. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> right. There's that room, I think. But Laura is, of course, a new outfit for a new adventure. Skin tight, uh, cat suit. Of course, if you remember the London levels of Tomb Raider 3, she had a cat suit. Uh, it was different to this one. Oh yes! Oh, I discovered this weird glitch. Oops, her arms held out. It's the first time I've come across that. <laughs> she wouldn't come out of this. I think the only way out of it is to get your weapon out for the final. Oh. Don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Yes. Good idea. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, the atmosphere. 
is actually top notch in this level. Oh, these three levels, I can't knock it. I can knock the level design with the toughness though. <laughs> and you've got to be careful with your medipacks because you don't get anywhere near as many as you do in the three previous areas. Not only have they suddenly made it tougher, they've suddenly made it much tougher in every aspect. Also, that machine gun is the only gun you get in these level sets. You don't even get pistols, so you don't have the security. Of at least if you're being bad with the ammunition, you use the pistols because you can't. If you had a pistols in the cutscene, that was just to get to this floor <laughs> in the actual level. She doesn't have the pistols. And uh, there's nowhere to get them, as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's a mod you could put in to make it have them. Because I know they always start with Angel of Darkness, some of the guns, but. And there's a hammer. Now, that hammer is an important uh, key item. We need that <clears throat> for progression. And, uh, so, this room doesn't contain that much. Did I actually inspect all of those? I don't think I did. Never mind. <laughs> Oh dear. My god. Look at me, I've been rapping since 83. No, I haven't really, but uh, not even a rapper. What am I on about? I wasn't even alive in 83. <laughs> oh. Saving's getting a bit excessive. Um, already near the end of the video. Seven minutes more of wittering on to do. I think I can manage that, but uh, I love that move. Ooh, what I've got there. But it's only in this game at Northers, which is a bit of a shame, really. I like that. There's our first seeker of the level. Fantastic. <laughs> but it would have been nice thinking back if the secrets had items as well. Because you really do need a lot of health in these levels. <laughs> of course. If these levels are too difficult for you, you can press the cheat and have unlimited medipacks, but uh, that pretty much would make it a bit too easy. So it would still be challenging, but it would be you could really troll the level and get through it. That's what I used to do when I was young. Press the cheat in for unlimited medipacks, <laughs> troll the levels with unlimited health. Um, Uh, yep, that was the 27th secret. Should have 28 by now. Painfully reminding myself that I've missed one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was funny. That was funny. Oh dear. God, I'd better edit some of the deaths out. I don't do it in this video though. So, oh that was funny. Oh dear God. No. <laughs> oh my God. That was, that's funny. And that cool loading, loading screen there. And, uh, a lot of uh, 
Well, I know it's just been fun than that, so you can tell. <clears throat> what has it? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Who's dead again? Oh, this is fantastic. Uh, I, I like the atmosphere of these levels. I also like the uh, outfits. What I don't like so much is the sunglasses. I don't think that goes with the outfit. I'd rather her have not had sunglasses as well, but never mind. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> and also... My backpack is stretched. I don't know why they did that. Must be a design flaw. <laughs> well, it just looks stupid like that. Oh my God, what's this camera angle all about? Surely, three minutes left. Dear God, I feel like I've run out of energy already. So, <laughs> do this commentary. Well, it's a real pain having to do it separately, obviously. I would have loved to have done it at the same time. And of course, I'm blasting the sound through my ears at full volume. When you, when anyone watches this, the sound will be balanced better, so that you can actually hear my commentary. So the game sound won't be as loud as it is now, for example. I haven't made much progress ever. In what? A quarter of an hour I've been on this level. I haven't really made any progress. Found a secret. Found a one key item, the hammer. Got killed by the lasers quite a bit. And that's about it, really. In fact, yeah, we're coming at the end of it. I'm gonna drop the save. It's gonna be a lot of saves dropped in this level. And the next level and the next one. And then we'll be done with the game. Well, we'll be doing some commentary, an extra bit of commentary, um, show the special features, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. I get stuck there for ages and ages, and I've had to cut a lot of footage out of the next part, because it would have been a lot longer. If one one lace is bad enough when there's two flowing the same area at different rates, that makes it much harder. And I found that. This is a point where I rage quit in 2014. I lost play this level because. And then, then I didn't bother playing the final level. I thought stuff this seems a bit too difficult. That data got deleted. To make room for this data, which has since been copied to another memory card, because the new memory cards are now full. I ordered two other PS1 memory cards, and I'm still using a PS1 to record because I could get a PS2. I don't want to spend too much, they're not very expensive, but I broke my other PS2. I've been a complete twonk, so. There was absolutely no need for me to break that. Just trying to get a game to work. Gran Turismo 4, which has problems on the PS2 because it's high definition. Yep, yeah, so we're coming up to the end of this video. So, just until the next time, obviously, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. But for now, I'll see you later. Take care.